Hey guys, Karai To here, and I'm doing a video on my Koki Miru deck. Because I've been liking the deck so far, I've played a lot of duels with this deck so far, and so far, it's pretty good. It's really good against Pendulum Summoning or anything that special summons either Inherent Summonings or sometimes non-Inherent Summonings, but mostly Inherent Summonings. And an Inherent Summon is just a summon that starts its own chain so and that's all it is so that's all an inherent summon is and that's all they negate so something like black luster soldier that's a summon that starts its own chain so basically that's all it does um this deck is really consistent of the back row it's also consistent of just adding basically the Iron Core, and Urnite. And these are like your two main engines. Because once you get Urnite with Iron Core, you can just do all the special summoning moves, and then you just end your turn. And then you can just use it again next turn. Especially if you get Diamond Core, Urnite won't be destroyed if you don't have another Kokimiru Urnite in your hand. So if you don't have another one in your hand, good because you can just banish this from your graveyard so this won't be destroyed. Um, it also runs the Trap Tricks engine, because it needs to run the, basically, the traps. Um, and, yeah, it's just really, it's got kind of a little mini rank 4 engine going for it. You would summon Monk as well. You could basically discard a Diamond Core, and then, or an Iron Core if you really wanted to, because you also have Core Transport Unit. And you would discard that spell card, and you could special summon Urnite, and then Urnite's effect to, of course, reveal Core, and then just special summon a Kokimiru from your deck. So it's it's pretty good for a rank 4 spam. It is actually pretty good. But yeah, that's all you need to do for that part. And it also has Norden, because you can see the instant fusions. And yeah, that this is how the deck works so far. Um, to play it is really easy. You just basically have to set your back row and try and add Urnite on your first turn and Iron Core. It's basically how the deck runs. Also, Overdose, he's really good. Um, he, stop, he's, he can stop a whole entire Pendulum Zone, which is just insane. For a single monster, he can stop a whole pendulum zone. So like that that's pretty insane for what he just does. Um, you also got Reflasia because just you know, this consists of the trap hole engine, and she can just be a real pain in the ass for your opponent. Um You've got the two castells, so they can't really use any continuous stuff or field spells because you just have the castell. You've got Giant Hand to negate any monster effects they play. And since you've also got the three strikes and another Solemn Warning, th there's no way they're going to be able to use monster effects in this whole duel. And also that's including the three Guardians that can negate any monster effect. Um, and yeah, basically it's, it's really hard for your opponent to try and use monsters. Especially if you get like a trap, a decent trap hand. It's really hard for them to try and use monster effects on their first turn. Because it can just negate and destroy them. Very, very easy. Um, you also got the one guy, a cowboy, of course, to finish off your opponent. Um, Abyss Dweller, so they can't use like Burning Abyss and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, you also got an Castell. I should probably put it in like that. There we go, that's more sortable. Um, then you've got a Silent Honor Arc. I think you only really need one or two of these you don't really need three and the only reason why is is because there's not very many monsters on going to be on their side of the field you kind of have all this trap card stuff here and this deck really like um makes it so your opponent can't use trap cards well they can't use trap card spells or monsters that's basically how this deck works basically because you got sandman You've also got Wall, this negates spell cards, this negates traps, and this negates monsters. And this negates summons. So, it's really hard for your opponent to try and outmatch your Wall. Once it's, once it's up, it's really hard for them to get over. Um, 
You also have Tornado. This can get rid of all their special summon monsters just by simply placing an Iron Core back on the top of your deck. So he's like really good. Um, especially in the new meta days, he just destroys all so he doesn't even target, which means he can get rid of Cosmos really easy. Um, and yeah, so far, this deck is pretty decent for what it does. Um, I like it so far. You guys can try it out now if you want. You can just make it the same way as this one, or you can think of your own Koaki Miru deck. Sorry, I, I, it's a really hard name to get used to. <laughs> but and that's all this deck does. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope it hope you guys learned something from Koaki Miru's. I'll see you guys later.